I remember Nipsey Hussle. Out of respect, this video will not be monetized, so I won't make any money off this video. March 31st was a very bittersweet day. That was the day that I visited the Los Angeles area for the first time. Also, first time traveling solo on the plane, so it was like a special day in the beginning. Like, I always wanted to go to Los Angeles since I was five years old, and you know, that was a time that like, I cannot believe I'm actually going to Los Angeles. So, excited, man. And shout out to Kimo from Always Home. He lives out in LA now, so I was visiting with Kimo. And the reason why I waited that long to go to Los Angeles, because mind you, I wanted to go since I was five. I'm 23 years old. It's almost two decades now for not even going to Los Angeles. The reason why I wanted to go that time was because I was done with school. Like I finished all my classes and I was ready to graduate later that year. That was May 2019. So I said, why not? I have my money. You know, why not? Let's just go to Los Angeles. You know, we have the time. Like, I was always going to school, going to school. Then this comes up, then that come up. That was the time for me to relax myself and go to Los Angeles at a fair price. You get what I'm saying? The flights were cheap, you know, around that time. So, I said, why not? Let's book it for March 31st through April 6th. I was there for Los Angeles for seven days, but I arrived in New York on april 7th you know it was a long flight six hour flight to los angeles you guys can watch my video that i made an entire vlog just vlogging la we arrived in los angeles like around 10 a.m it was definitely in the morning time i called up my boy chemo to pick me up and mind you i don't know why i packed so heavy you know i had two bags and i had a carry-on backpack so i had three baggage that is just insane i gotta start packing light i called up my boy chemo chemo arrived like around 20 minutes LA traffic is real too, by the way. You know, we went on the highway, seen the palm trees. LA is so beautiful, sun shining and everything. And that was one of the hottest days. That's when the weather finally broke out. It was 86 degrees, almost 90. It was super duper hot that day. Coming from New York here, it was like 50 or 60. Yeah, gray, bloomy, to Los Angeles being nice and blue, clear skies. It was fantastic, man. One of my favorite times in my life, man visiting Los Angeles and mind you chemo was playing victory lap this is before anything you know just because you know you in LA now so you gotta listen to West Coast rap and by the way West Coast rap definitely hit you different while you're on the West Coast so I was listening to YG the game but we played Nipsey Hustle. we played the entire victory lap album and I was saying that in my mind like when I get back to New York now and, we, and I play victory lap I'm gonna remember LA you know positively positively Kimo was pointing to me, Slauson, you know, Crenshaw. He's saying, yo, this is the exit to the marathon store. He said, you want to go? It's this exit right here. And I was saying in my mind, yeah, it will be good, but I want to put down my baggage first. You get what I'm saying? I had a lot of bags, and also I wanted to check in, too. I booked a hotel in Calabasas, and that's another story for another time. You guys know the story in Calabasas. So I wanted to put my bags down, you know, and check in. So we went to Calabasas first, and then maybe later on we'll go to Slauson, the marathon store. Little as I know. So we went to Calabasas, and it was a long trip, man. The traffic in LA is just insane. I got to Los Angeles Sunday. It was Sunday. So we went to Calabasas, we chill out for a little bit, and we decided to head out like 30 minutes later. We're just talking, you know, seeing how's everything, how's the weather here, how you feeling about LA. Cause Kimo been living in LA since 2017. So I just wanted to ask him, you know, what's going on and any opportunities here for me that you can fill me in. Or maybe I could probably start working in Los Angeles and move out there and pursue my dreams or whatever. So I was, I was on that bag too. Like I wanted to pursue my goal and you know start a new life there and stuff like that i don't know but anyway 30 minutes later we went back on the road we put down all the stuff so i'm a little bit more comfortable and you know we just exploring la you know this is this this is that looking at the mountains oh this is that this is this taking pictures and you know we're just having a good time just exploring los angeles and calabasas driving around it, it was just a magical time. I mean, I'm, I'm really here, you know, something, a place that I always wanted to go. I'm finally here, and it's really thanks to you guys, too, for making that happen, really. So we're driving around. Kimo asked me, yo, you hungry? You want an In-N-Out? You want to try In-N-Out for the first time? I said, yeah, why not? I want to see if, if it was worth the hype, you know, if In-N-Out is really worth the hype. So we went to In-N-Out, like around 12.30 or something like that, 1 o'clock. I can't remember on the top of my head. And I didn't know what to get. You get what I'm saying? I'm new there, so it's like, whatever. So I got what I needed, 
and chemo got what he needed, I paid too. I paid for chemo and paid for my food. You know, chemo driving me around, he's showing me around, so that's the least I can do. Um, I didn't have to say that, did I? So we sitting down, we on Twitter, we checking social media, and we saw that Nipsey Hustle got shot. And man, it really killed off the vibe. I mean, it really did. Once we found out that that news, you know, we were saying that, yo, I hope Nip can fight this, you know what I mean? Hopefully Nip will be all right, man. Hopefully he can push this, you get what I'm saying? Stay strong. So everybody on Twitter saying, pray for Nipsey Hustle, pray for Nipsey Hustle, pray for Nipsey Hustle. And I'm like, man, I, I really do hope that he can recover from this, you get what I'm saying? And Kimo was basically saying the same thing, like, man, because you guys understand, if you watch Always Home, we watch, uh, you know, a lot of Nipsey Hustle interviews and, and we talk about Nip too a lot. And, you know, we, we respect Nipsey Hustle here, man. And I respect him. I respect his hustle. I respect his grind. And he was more than just a rapper. He was a father. He was an entrepreneur. You get what I'm saying? He inspired millions of people around the world. And, you know, we lost a really, like, that's sad, man. So we eat an in and out and I was saying to Kimo, like, yo, this is this is overrated. Like this this in and out burger is a little overrated. So alright, we finish eating, we finish eating, and we keep on talking about this nip thing. So we decide to go back to Calabasas, go back to the hotel, and right when we get into the highway to get back to Calabasas, or the freeway, whatever, that's when Nipsey Hussle was pronounced dead. And phew, I literally dropped my phone, like on my lap and I just could not believe you get what I'm saying somebody would really take his life away like that man this dude was a really he was a good dude man like he was more than a good dude man like how can you take that away and fun little fact the track that played next was last time that I checked last time that I checked check, check. it was five chains on my neck you know that's when me and Kimo was playing it just happened to land on that track Kima decided to turn up the music a little bit, you know, blasting it a little bit, and man, it was just devastated along. It was just like sad, man. I almost shed a tear. You know, I'm not really a, a cry person, but I, I, I legitimately shed two tears, like right here. Like, I just couldn't believe he was dead, man. <sighs> man, RP to the great Nipsey Hustle, man. So we went to the hotel. And I decided to FaceTime, do a group FaceTime with the Always Home crew. So Len, Bub, Kimo was there, and I was there, of course. And we just FaceTime, we're just talking about, you know, we can't believe this, and this is this is fucked up, and shit like that, man. And I just, like, and my brother texted me saying he, he loved me. Like, he, he loved me, bro, because it's like, somebody could just take your life away like that, man. And it was just a regular day was just like we was gonna go there you get what i'm saying we was gonna go there and what's happened was we would have met nipsey hustle that's the crazier part about anything and i declined it because i just wanted to check in put my bags down so be careful man be careful when you're out there and nowadays you can't even go nowhere anyway because you got this whole outbreak going on this coronavirus and to this day we still like we still trying to you know stay strong it's just it's something that that hurts you get what i'm saying and it's the whole world the worldwide took an l that day and you get what i'm saying that's why march 31st was a bittersweet sweet and sour day just because of the whole passing of nipsey hustle and another thing too that died that day was air power apple's air power apple decided to discontinue that altogether it was just a weird day it was a weird day um happy in the beginning sad towards the end and it was it killed the whole vibe for the day but i still had a good time low key though despite that happening which is fu which is pretty crazy i still had fun that day and that was that was my nipsey hustle day man that's what i did that day um los angeles is beautiful um but it's just too dangerous out there man i just can't I don't, I don't, I see myself living there and I see myself like working with a lot of great, awesome people there. But at the same time, I just can't, I, I, I just, it's just too much going on out there, man. And it's too much going on in the world in general. So it's like, yeah, I don't know, man. But that was my Nipsey Hustle story. Devastating, man. Devastating. It was going to go there and possibly even meet Nipsey Hustle that day. Crazy, man. And that was the first day in Los Angeles, the first day ever in Los Angeles. But I'm curious to know, uh, what was your, like, where were you when Nipsey Hussle passed away? Like, I'm just curious to see 
where you guys were at, you know, around that time. It would have been cool. It would have been so trill if you'd have won that Grammy. Um, but that was a good. That was a good year for hip hop too, because Travis Scott was nominated. Nip got nominated. Pusha T got nominated. Cardi got nominated. You know, it, they all had great albums. Um, but yeah, it would have been really nice to see Nip seeing his first award for the first time. That would have been really cool. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, I truly, duly appreciate it. Truly, duly. Truly, duly. <laughs> and yeah, until next time, guys. Stay simple. Stay hustle. Stay motivated. The marathon continues.